All right, 2016 Dodge Journey. You said ABS light, right? Let's see if we can scan this thing. Display fitted systems. Comes off and goes on. That's what uh, like ABS, airbag, traction control, all of those lights will, if the fault is not present at the time, it will turn the light back on, back off. So that way the system is functional again for safety. Check engine lights um, or tire lights usually are the ones that will um, stay on until it runs a certain amount of times or we actually clear it ourselves. I got you. Um, so right now we've got a left front wheel speed sensor circuit that's out of range. Um, so I'm just gonna drive it right here real quick, see if we get a reading. If we don't get a reading, then I have to hook up another tool and we'll see if we can in induce a reading out of it. All right, so left front wheel speed. We're gonna just see if we get some data out of it right quick. Uh, left front, that's the one we're looking for here. So we're gonna go back up. And of course it's semi working right now. You can't see it. So that, oh, there it goes, it just cut out. You saw that? Let's go forward. I'm gonna go grab my Altel and hook that up real quick. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we got the Altel and we are going to use the option that has the waveform generator in it. So I'm gonna show you guys how that works. So, we don't really need to be plugged in there, but I am because my battery is a little low. So, we're going to go get some wires. And we need to disconnect the left front ABS sensor. So, we need these, I believe, for this one. And if we go over to the waveform generator, it'll tell us how to do the hookup. And I'll show you guys that here in just a second. All right, so. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into measurements and then we're gonna go into waveform generator. Okay, so right here, is what it tells you what to do. Now, this is a EGR, so we don't... Okay, so I don't want DC voltage. What I want is probably a square wave. So we need to see how many wires are on that. Triangle wave, no. We're gonna go with square wave on this one right here. So, we need to get to our wheel speed sensor and back probe in. Let's go do that. Connector. It's right back in there. It's right there. So. So we're disconnected. We're gonna take these. We're gonna put them in the harness side. Right here. Let's actually go on the back side so we don't hurt any pins. All right. 
So now we take this plug into our scanner head. Now again, forgive me, I have to do what we call a split screen here. Go to the diagnostics on the vehicle side. Turn the car on. I'm gonna go to ABS. Okay. So we're hooked up. So we're on square wave. We got our Hertz here. Every time we change the Hertz, if you look at your miles per hour, it goes up and it stays pretty steady. So I would suggest in this type of situation that we just have a problem with our wheel speed sensor. So <clears throat> again, we're doing the Altel Maxisys Ultra. We've got our waveform generator hooked up under our Maxi Flash VCMI. So the two wires, they come out, they go directly into the harness side of our wheel speed sensor coming to our computer. And on the right hand side, we're watching our data pit. This is where we're at, 46 miles an hour. When we change the frequency, it changes our miles per hour. We can also, and we're on a 12 volt, uh, 12 volt scale. So we can also go to like a triangle wave, I think works too. You see it here. And this is what a triangle wave would look like versus our square wave. This is what a typical square wave, this is an on off, on off type of signal, what a wheel speed does. And as the Hertz go up, that's where we get our different miles per hour. So we could see that our wiring doesn't cut out, doesn't change going back to our ECM or our electronic brake control module. So in this situation, we would sell the customer a new wheel speed sensor. Just to show you something else that's really cool on this tool, let's close the waveform generator. Let's go back home. Let's go in here. Our bus inspection. Oh, I need to close my waveform generator. Exit diagnostics. Oh my God, come on. Uh, how do I do this? Um, screens, let's clear all those. Go, oh, home, let's go into measurement and bus inspection. Close that, bus inspection. Now I haven't used this too much, but this is kind of like using a breakout box, but you can watch, um, you can watch your, uh, you can watch your scan data for how your bus is communicating on your high speed and your low speed. That is really, really cool. I like that a lot. And we can change it. Uh, let's go. Not that. Two milliseconds. Where's my tracer sitting up there? Turn that tracer off. But look at that. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. I'll do can high. So it gives you your voltage on can high. So when you're trying to diagnose CAN bus uh, to check voltages on there, make sure your resistors are good and everything, this helps you so much. And you could use a breakout box too, which I use, but I don't run into that very often here, like barely ever, but that's really cool. And I like that tool. I just wanted to show you that. But anyway, that's it on this tool. We're going to, like I said, we're going to go talk to the customer and we're going to sell them a left front wheel speed sensor. Oh. All right, so we got our vehicle wheel speed sensor. So it's a different day from when you're looking at the before part of the video. That was last week. I had said this one was a hub assembly. I was wrong, it's not a hub assembly. 
it's a whole harness. So I'm hoping that we can get, as soon as I untie this, my word. So this section, if we can get this up out of the hub, this is our harness that we tested the other day. We unplugged here and went into the harness side. This is our, our sensor itself. Anyway, we're gonna go get this installed, so let's go. So, right here is our sensor. So, oh yeah, that's gonna come out just fine. Sometimes these are really, really rusted in. Make sure your surface is nice and clean though before you put the new one in. Jesus, what size is that? Why does it gotta be so big? That's what she said. All right, so we just gotta take these brackets off. Here's your old one. Here's your new one. All right, so there's our new harness. It's all the way up, put in there. All right, so watch that wheel speed. Let me zoom in a little for you. All right, so you watch that wheel speed on the top left, this one right here. Front left wheel speed sensor. No more cutting out to zero. It stays true with the other ones if I'm not making a turn. So the sensor was correct. No more cutting out on that wheel speed. Good job. It's nice when things go to plan, right? So that's really about it. This one's done. Um, yeah, 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 I know. I'm in the module. Just give me a second to get out of the module. That's it, so there you go. Codes are clear. They're not gonna come back on. Let's get out of the module so the lights will stop going crazy. Yeah, 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 shut up. Oh, thunder. Okay. Perfect. Awesome, so there you go. Your lights are off, that's just our seatbelt light. So everything's done, codes are gone see if there's any codes in the engine nope nothing all right cool this one's done that's it dodge journey front left wheel speed erratic missing signal it would cut out right around two or three miles an hour new sensor i was wrong i thought it was a whole hub we got customer got lucky they got a cheaper price and that's good we're here to save them money wherever we can so but that's it job's done and we're moving actually we're done that's it we're done today i'm going home 
and it is like two two o'clock i don't know what time it is my other this is the phone i use for oh it's back okay i lied it was turned off for over temperature but it is 245 so we're done for the day and we're headed home guys we'll see you later